Greetings, critical viewers, and welcome back to Spooky's House of Jump Scares. We're doing a second video because so many people want to see more of the game, and to be honest, I do too. So, we're on room 151, and we're gonna get as far as we can in one video. God, I hate these rooms. I don't even think- I think this is the wrong- I think I took the wrong- no, I took the right one, okay. The left one was the correct one, I should say. Don't want to confuse anyone. Um, this way. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, hopefully the game continues to develop. And, uh, ooh. Hope we don't have to die. <laughs> because we went the wrong way. Last time I just lucked out and went the right way. Um, but, yeah, hopefully the, uh, the rooms continue to get darker and we get to see more fun stuff. Cause it's kinda, you know. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I was looking at my sprint meter and that one actually got me. Was that an octopus? I feel like I've seen that before. Maybe just in uh, images from the game. I was, looking, uh, I was looking up images for the thumbnail for last part and I think I ran across it. Hey, it's this brain thing again! I found it. Is there, uh, no, there's no notes or anything. That's fine. It kind of concerns me that we've we've already seen that room though. But we haven't seen this note, I bet. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape. But really that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. Is it just me or have we read that note before? I feel like we did in the last set of rooms. I'm really hoping that we get to see something new here. Maybe the game is just kind of, uh, instead of every set being different, it's just kind of more randomly generated than that. Because I'm seeing a lot of repeat rooms in this set than from the last one. I think something's after us. I can't be sure. It is, yeah, there's a ghost. It's a suit of armor, though. <laughs> Whoa, this is like a fucking Unity game! Fun! Oh, this is so cool! This is like within deep sorrows over here. Oh, wow. This is cool. Locked. Oh, shit. One sixty-five. Oh! There appear to be ghostly children! Still roaming these halls. Matsuri never came to class today. I hope she made it home okay. Uh, so I tell me she did, because she's probably a ghost. Dead. <laughs> Raptor heads? That is awesome. Uh, Alright, creepy paintings. I don't see any other notes. Seems like I would, uh... Would spy them pretty fast, because they kind of stick out. Maybe we'll find them another one in here. We can unravel the story. I don't see any other notes. It's too bad. Oh! Oh shit! Okay, they actually hit you. <laughs> they actually hit you. Okay. Forget it then. I'm gonna read this note though. You can't stop me. Could it really be true? I thought the fairy tales about the ghost eating children who sneak in after class was just to keep us from disobeying. But Matsuri is still missing. The ghosts eating children who sneak in after class? Do you really have that much of a problem with tardy slips? Not cool. Yeah, if you're late, get eaten. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go back because I didn't I didn't look for notes in this one. There might have been one I missed. I don't see one. So we just we basically just read everything that we could read. That's a cool little segment, though. I wonder if it will continue uh, in the next room. Oh, it does. Oh, no! <laughs> We're done! Oh, shit! <laughs> Fuck! I just spit everywhere! Damn it! No! That was awesome! I guess that was Matsuri. Cool, so there actually is an element of danger. 
I mean, I know we got chased by those spiders earlier, but that wasn't really anything. Or if it's still after me, I really don't want to find out. Thankfully, your health does regenerate over time. Maybe we can just take it slow for a sec. I think that was my favorite part of the game so far. That's the wrong your. That's the true horror here, the horror of improper grammar. Your soul wanders an endless maze. Wow! How did we die? I didn't even see her. Where'd she come from? That's disappointing. Oh, uh... Yeah, I got a high score of 173. That's not good. It's not good. I wish I could see the leaderboards, but probably... Probably a ton of people have gotten to the last rooms. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> back here again. Let's see what happens this time, because I'm curious to see if the rooms are different. We haven't actually been able to compare, uh, yet. I mean, it's, it's fairly clear to me that they're randomly generated, but I just want proof. Oh, let me read this. Oh, this is why I saw that note earlier, because I didn't, I didn't read it after, uh, after my load. <laughs> hmm. I don't read much after my loads, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let's not get killed by an Asian schoolgirl this time. I didn't like how narrow that hallway was. This is like SCP Containment Breach, just saying. Cat... Cat DOS? Okay. Access specimen database. Oh no. Heart attack? A cardboard cutout figure that springs out from the walls. Proves not very effective against healthy subjects. <laughs> Let's read all this shit. Oh, okay, we've encountered that thing. A mostly semi-solid based specter that frequently changes matter states. Proved very effective against weaker or slower subjects. Total fatalities, 137. Wait, how many fatalities did that uh, octopus thing have? Four? You got up your game, man. Eight arms but four deaths. That's not a good ratio. 43, that's impressive. A test specimen being developed at GL Labs should prove useful when released. Trials have shown it is adequately effective to average subjects. Well, yeah, it's a giant fucking spider. All right, a 14th century spirit that was contained and relocated here. Tests have yet to reveal origins, but all relevant information has been placed into testing chamber. So this is like an SCP type of homage? That's cool. What have we not seen yet? Have we not seen that? It has a lot of fatalities. A creature found inside the church of a small town. Subjects are lost after contact with a specimen. Current method of killing is unknown. Proved extremely effective against subjects with mental issues or weak wills. Alright, let's refrain from insulting its his victims. Error? Specimen 6 is error. I am error. Is he a Zelda 2 character? Blech. Modify house layout. Error. Oh, I'm getting errors on everything. Fine then. Fine. Oh, I know why they're errors, because this game actually isn't complete yet. From what I've heard, it only goes up to room 550. But I'm getting conflicting reports on that, so I don't know. I, I probably could have just looked at the developer's uh, actual IndieDB page and gotten the answer there. I just didn't do that before sitting down to record. <laughs> wow, really? You threw out three at me? Spooky must really want to spook me. We're gonna get attacked by Matsuri, and it's not gonna be fun. Not cool. Okay, good. <laughs> that was a close one. The, the bad thing is she's still after us. If she functions like the other monsters, so... We gotta... That is painful, dude. We gotta keep going if we wanna live. Let 
175. Come on. Okay, good. It's not locked. What? No! Oh! <laughs> it got me! I just I wasn't expecting her to be there! This game is very good at surprising you. But then again, it is called Spooky's House of Jump Scare, so. Oh come on. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you better not be locked. That's what I thought. I was about to get real mad at ya. Okay. No notes. This this game actually does get a little bit challenging. It's not difficult <laughs> or anything so far, it's just Yeah, I didn't fall for any of those. I fell for a couple of the previous ones, but... Come on, we can make it to room 200. No prob. I guess, I guess, whatever the hell it was, was right behind me. Good. Not locked. What? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna make it. You can't stop me. Ugh. Come on, come on. Only two more rooms. It's not that difficult. Yeah, we did it! No more notes! Oh, come on! Alright, let's keep going. I hope we get another cool section like that school uh, in this next set of rooms. That was pretty fun. Alright, you guys ready to get to 250? I think we can do it. Learn my lesson. Don't fart around so much. All right, these environments are different. There's cobwebs, that's cool. I don't wanna have to use my sprint meter until I know I have to. I'm just astounded at how well this game not only parodies a lot of the free indie horrors, but also manages to make a pretty unique style all its own. And a pretty fun game experience overall, because it's not... This game didn't really seem like a one-trick pony. Um, well, it, I, it did, I guess, at first, because I was like, oh, I get it, you know. The jump scares aren't scary, but now it actually has some variation to it, and I like that. Oh, wow. Whoa! Silent Hill up in her. Did I really say that? I really said up in her? Room 210. This is pretty cool. The darkness is slowly consuming us now. I don't think our rituals will appease it much longer. How are we supposed to know this would happen? I like how each, it's like each, uh, broken. Because this is very clearly Silent Hill, uh, homage. It's like, uh, each set is a homage to different horror game, uh, series. It's not really our fault, we just did what Mother <laughs> has told us to do in this sort of situation. Notes are kind of hard to read. The, uh, cross of the T's are missing. They did not cross their T's. They did dot their eyes, however. Mother is not pleased with us. But how were we supposed to know that the girl wasn't pure? <laughs> I love this. This is great. Did I go in here? It's broken, so no. Yeah, this is <laughs> awesome. Han Solo frozen in carbonite. Okay, so... Don't go in there. 
Broken. Don't go in there either. Broken. Broken. You're not broken. Yeah, I thought so. All right, monster, where are you? Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> That's not where you go. <laughs> you don't go in there, as it turns out. Oh, this is... This is kind of debilitating. God damn it, they know what they're doing, too. You can't sprint, either. Well, you can sprint, actually. Oh, no! Was there a... No! I can't go back. Ow! Don't go back. Got it. When is this gonna go away? I don't like this. Okay, if you... Yeah, you can't sprint. It's like it... This It stops you or... You stutter step. He broke down the door. He's like right behind me. Whatever the hell it is. See, like, look, it, it drains. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, gosh. I can't freaking see! This is frustrating! This is it, though. This is correct. I did it right. I did it right, come on. Didn't get me. Make this thing go away, this is really annoying. <laughs> Do I have to endure this for the next 25 rooms? No way, no, 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 no. It's this room again. Ah, this is... Crap. Is it left again? I'm gonna stick with left. Yeah, it is. Good. This sucks. I mean, it's not the, not the game. The game's fun. Yeah, if you use stamina, it drains it. So you just gotta... It randomly stops you. I can't figure it out, though. That... It's not fair. Not fair. Because when you encounter one of those jump scares, it stops you. And that time is precious! Ooh, I actually used it and got away with it there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's move this along, please! Crap. This would have been nice for like, maybe five rooms. Oh God! Thank you! I was about to say, I, I can't take much more of it. <laughs> Shut up. I went through the right door. I'm going through all of the correct doors. We're gonna get to 250, guys, in this video. I don't know if we're going to get much further than that, but... We'll take another stab at it. Do it. Um, this is really tight. How is this place structured? This seems impossible for this place to support itself. So many hallways. One more. We got one more. Easy. So, you made it this far. That's, uh, that's great. I shall grant you a gift for your progress. So, uh, so just keep going. A gift? Thanks, Spooky. 
I should probably save first. Right? There's no... Aha! It should definitely save first. Good. Okay, let's, let's check it out. <laughs> oh, terrific. Absolutely terrific. Greetings, critical viewers. We're wrapping up uh, rooms 250 through 300. There was literally nothing new that happened, so I'm going to cut all that out, and we'll see what lies beyond this door. Okay, it's just one of these. So, yeah, nothing new. Uh, really hoping that uh, in the next set there'll be something uh, that we haven't seen before. But yeah, pretty disappointing. Um, all 50 of those rooms I'd seen before, so... Didn't really see anything new there. Here's hoping that this uh, mixes it up a little bit. Alright! See, I haven't seen this. The bricks. Nice. Nice try, buddy. Okay. What? <laughs> That's the shortest room in the game. Okay. Yeah, still nothing new so far. This is new! This is definitely new. This is Zelda. Fucking cool! I love it! Oh, this, so this is fake. And so is this one. It's like the Shadow Temple. That is so cool. We got all these masks on the wall. <laughs> hey there, Cry. Nice to see you, buddy. Can't really identify the rest of these. All right, uh, I guess. Does this one? This one's real. Yeah, that one's real. This one's not, though. That was a cool little Easter egg. Excuse me? Maybe there is something here that we... that we missed. Nope. Oh, we didn't read any of these notes. Okay. This is obviously... Oh, there's a key. Okay. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. Uh oh, I can see where this is going. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. But just afterwards, he came running to the river crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. Sad, bud. Picked up a key. What's up, guy? I had to do it. Alright, let's go. Enough kiss and ass. He's not watching this anyway. <laughs> Alright. What now? That one's fake. This one's fake. Let's go this way. Read another story here. Ooh, bloody key. Nice. All right, let's start with uh, this one. Although not what they wanted. The shopkeepers were satisfied. Did this one come first? Years later, the children of the town began to go missing. And as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. So the townspeople were satisfied, huh? Pretty upsetting. Pretty creepy. Alright. This one. What next? Oh, okay. No friggin' way! <laughs> So you're, you're pretty scary. Do you move when I turn my back? Are you gonna chase me? You're gonna chase me, aren't you? Do I have to get the key from you? He hit 
hit me! The backstab! Oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh no, it's the evil within. This is bringing back bad memories of a terrible game. Become a puppet is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. Now you belong to something. You belong to me. Dude. That was cool. Alright, I wanted something new and it delivered. Nice. You guys ready to start up again? Ready to go.